Hello everyone. Welcome to Plum Dust Tutorials. Friends, if you are a regular viewer of my channel, then what you have to do? Yes, you already know it. Yes, you have to hit a like button, share my channel with your friends and families. And if you are completely new, then you have to subscribe my channel. And also tap the bell icon to get regular updates. And if you don't want to miss anything of this video, then you have to watch the video till the end. Friends, once again welcome to the vocab series of newspapers and today also I have collected few sentences from different kind of newspapers and picked up different kind of words for you so that it will be helpful in your preparation for the competitive examinations. Not only for the competitive examinations, you can also increase your vocabulary skill by learning this kind of words. The only duty is that you have to take out your diary and pen and note it down. And keep in mind that you have to also learn these words by heart. Okay, so now let's start without wasting our time. The first sentence I have picked up today from the newspaper, the Hindu. And the sentence is like this. BJP is encouraging mobocracy. I repeat, BJP is encouraging mobocracy. And for today I have uh, decided to pick, uh, find out the meaning of the word mobocracy. Mobocracy is a noun word and its meaning is the rule or control of the masses. That means a control of a collective group which will have more power that is known as mobocracy. You can rule someone in a unity that is known as mobocracy. And the sentence tells that BJP is encouraging mobocracy. That means BJP wants to uh, have collective power over something or someone. This is known as uh, mobocracy. I have uh, taken an example so that you can understand better. Uh, the sentence is like this. Mobocracy helps to win a struggle fast. That means if you work in a group, then it will help you to win that struggle as fast, which will not be helpful for you if you struggle alone. This is known as mobocracy. I hope you have understood it. The second sentence I have collected from the newspaper Times of India. And the sentence is like this. Will Narendra Modi outsmart Amarinder Singh in Punjab? I repeat the sentence. Will Narendra Modi outsmart Amarinder Singh in Punjab? And in the sentence, the word outsmart is picked up for today. And the meaning of the word outsmart is that it is a verb and its meaning is to obtain an advantage over someone by using tricks. That means you are taking the advantage of someone by using your intelligence or your, your trick. Okay, that is known as outsmart. Its synonyms are outwick, make a fool of. Okay, these are the synonyms of the word uh, outsmart. And uh, according to the sentence, here it is asked that will Narendra Modi outsmart Amarinder Singh? That means will Narendra Modi take the advantage of Amarinder Singh in Punjab? So this is the question asked by the, in the newspaper. Okay, answer we are not aware of it. So here another example I have taken so that you can understand. And the sentence is like this. He has outsmarted her to get the clue of the murder. That means he have taken her advantage so that he can get the clue to the murder. I hope now you have understood the sentence or the meaning of the word outsmart. Okay. Now let's come to the third sentence. And here this sentence I have collected from the newspaper the Indian Express. And the sentence is like this. Wife entitled for alimony even after legally void marriage. I repeat. Wife entitled for alimony even after legally void marriage. So here the meaning of the word alimony is necessary according to me I think so. So let us discuss. So according to the meaning of the word alimony it means that uh, maintenance for a wife after divorce or being separation or separated means after a wife is separated from her husband she gets a maintenance legally that is known as alimony. Its synonyms are provision or allowance. Okay, and here a sentence is given that a wife, the wife was entitled for alimony even after legally void marriage. Void means so useless, yes or no, null. So after the marriage was declared null, still uh, she was entitled for alimony. Again, another sentence I have given here and a sentence is like this. He was asked to pay the alimony from time to time. That means you have to pay a maintenance for to his wife 
time to time so that she can run her family or her children or with whom she is going to live this is the meaning of the word alimony clear then the fourth sentence i have collected from the newspaper the sum tribute and the sentence is like this to shift alloy and dip jyoti bring laurels to lakhimpur this sentence i have collected from the state newspaper that is from the assam tribune and the meaning of the word laurel i have picked up and the meaning is like this it is a verb and its meaning is an award or praise in recognition of an achievement an award or praise means um, after you achieve something you get an award that is known as laurels and its uh, synonyms are accolade or glory okay so according to this sentence these three boys or these three students brought laurels to the to lakhimpur they brought pride to this place lakhimpur okay another sentence i have uh, given here the sentence is like this i hope that you will bring laurels to your our family next year that means i am uh, i hope that you that means i have uh, hoped for someone to bring pride for our family this is the meaning of the word laurel and also the sentence please note it down and the last sentence i have collected from the newspaper the sentinel and the sentence is like this nasa's artemis to put first woman on moon i repeat nasa's artemis to put first woman on moon and the meaning of the word artemis is uh, that in greek mythology who is uh, usually shown as a hunter with a bow and arrow that means a power in greek mythology okay power of a woman especially i have uh, given an example here you must have the power of an artemis in you that means you must be strong in yourself that is known as the meaning of the word artemis so for today these are the five words from the sentences of different newspapers and uh, you please note it down and i hope it will be helpful for you and for today here only i will try to wind up thank you